Mackey and Bexie for Rebel News here in Victoria, British Columbia on the steps of the legislature yet again. It has been a busy few weeks here in Victoria with lots of protests. I originally was coming to the legislature here from the Premier's house actually. I was there trying to figure out what happened with the Extinction Rebellion citizens arrest stunt uh, that happened on Tuesday morning. That stunt was originally held so that they could delay the tabling of the budget which is happening as we speak behind me. I expected that maybe there would be a little bit of steam left in their engine and they'd try something here at the legislative grounds. That turned out to not be the case. But what I did find when I showed up here was a bunch of forestry workers. These forestry workers are saying that as the budget is tabled they need some attention put towards them rather than all of the attention that has been put towards the illegal blockades on railways and at ports and even this parliament building right behind me. I'm going to go into the crowd and try and speak with them. It is quite a nice crowd here. I'm not used to protests like these. It's not really a protest. I should say demonstration. There's kids everywhere. There's families. They're even planting trees on the lawn. It is a very nice protest here and I'm going to try and speak with as many folks as I can and see what they have to say, what message they have for the socialist NDP government here in Victoria, BC. What brings you here to this protest today? Uh, well, we are here today to uh, let the government know that is uh, loggers, the amount of money that we pour into the uh, provincial economy, um, we need to keep that going because if we stop, we're going to, uh, it's going to affect adversely the uh, economy of the province and all the social programs we have. Um, the environmentalists, uh, in conjunction with our provincial government, want to see a, a reduction in old growth logging. Uh, if they stop old growth logging, we, we will see at minimum a 50% reduction in logging throughout the province, which will result in the loss of tens of thousands of jobs directly and indirectly uh, related to logging. So you were mentioning earlier that Extinction Rebellion was threatening to come here. Uh, what, what did those threats include? Uh, those were death threats. Uh, we personally received some death threats online as other people I know. Um, you know, we're going to kill you, uh, death, uh, you suck, uh, uh, kill the loggers, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it got pretty nasty, to be quite honest with you. Um, obviously, being a West Coast boy, I don't take that kind of crap, so I decided let's throw the gauntlet down, challenge quite a few of them to come here on the uh, legislature lawn today and meet us. And you might line up on one side, we'll line up on the other, and you know what? Nobody showed up. Uh, where did they go? They went to Premier Horgan's place to where his family resides. He's one guy with his family and they showed up. How many of them? 50 or 100? They're cowards. Um, they suck. Um, they're holding our, our country hostage. Um, we are here uh, to stand up for democracy. We're here to stand up for our democratic rights. We are to stand up for Canadians and what everything Canada stands for. These hypocritical uh, environmental extremists need to get lost. They're not here to run our country. Our government are, is supposed to run this country, not them. So contrary to what we expected, Extinction Rebellion didn't show up and the budget was tabled without issue here at the Victoria Legislature. I was able to catch up with Aaron Gunn of Canada Strong and Proud. Here's what he had to say about the demonstration here today. We're here at the forestry protest in support of forestry workers here in British Columbia. Uh, it's budget day. What are the differences that you see here compared to what we've been seeing over the past few weeks with uh, Greta Thunberg's Extinction Rebellion folk? Well, I'd have to say it's completely night and day. Uh, everyone gathered here, there's families, everyone's respectful and polite. Uh, they're going to start giving some speeches here, uh, which contrasts to last week where you had accusations of, well, first of all, they were openly blockading people from entering the legislature, not just MLAs, but media and their assistants that had nothing to do with politics. They were accusations of assault, spitting on people, uh, intimidating, yelling shame, shame, uh, getting in people's faces and also jostling with uh, Victoria police. So it's a completely uh, night and day situation. What have you been hearing from uh, the protesters here today, or the demonstrators rather? Uh, well, I think just like the majority of Canadians, they're fed up. They want to go back to uh, common sense. Uh, they just want to work. The biggest difference actually between the two uh, protests last week and this week is these people actually have jobs. These are people that work for a living. They had to plan this months in advance, take the day off work, bring the family down, uh, versus last week where you just had a bunch of uh, you know, university students skipping class, usually with the support of their, of their uh, left-wing professors. So Extinction Rebellion did not show up today, contrary to what many people expected after they were arrested outside of John Horgan's house. It turns out that they didn't have any more steam left in them. You can stay up to date with all of our coverage regarding the pipeline blockades and the parliament blockades that we've been seeing here in Victoria if you go to fakefirstnation.com. For Rebel News in Victoria, British Columbia, I'm Keen Bexty. 
Hey, thanks for watching our coverage here in Victoria, British Columbia. Stay up to date with all of our blockade-related coverage at fakefirstnation.com.